1. Software Download and Installation First, connect the controller to your Xbox or PC. Then download GameSir Nexus from GameSir.com or Microsoft Store. Install and open GameSir Nexus. 2. Vibration In the Vibration tab, you can adjust vibration intensity for left trigger, right trigger, and left grip kichara, right grip. There is a function to separately enable force, left trigger vibration, and force right trigger vibration. The deeper the trigger is pressed, the stronger the trigger vibrates. You can also enable the function to sync left trigger vibration and sync right trigger vibration. Note, enabling force, trigger vibration, or sync trigger vibration will override the game's native trigger vibration effects. Meanwhile, you can both vibrations for real-time testing. 3. In the Triggers tab, you can freely adjust dead zone and anti-dead zone ranges while modifying curve adjustment for trigger mapping. For hair trigger mode, disabling it maintains analog linear triggers. In adaptive mode, you can configure the relative travel distance for press slash release to dynamically determine trigger actuation slash release points. In fixed mode, you can set a fixed threshold position where triggers actuate when pressed beyond this position and release when lifted below it. The input slider beneath both adaptive and fixed modes adjusts either the relative travel distance for adaptive or fixed threshold position for fixed, respectively. Four, in the sticks tab, you can adjust separately for left stick and right stick, dead zone range, anti-dead zone range, curve adjustment, and stick trajectory. You can click Advanced Mapping for Sticks to modify X, E, Y sensitivity scale individually and invert horizontal velocity to vertical stick output as needed. 5. Polling Rate In the Polling Rate tab, you can adjust the controller's polling rate to 250 Hz, 500 Hz, or 1000 Hz. Note, at 1000 Hz polling rate, native trigger vibration will be disabled automatically. When the controller is connected to an Xbox console, the polling rate is capped at 250 Hz. 6. Buttons In the Buttons tab, you can map all buttons to any desired buttons on the controller or any keyboard value mouse key with an additional function for continuous press mapping. In the meantime, you can swap the functions of left stick and D-pad. There is also a D-pad diagonal lock function. 7. Settings In the Settings tab, you will be able to enable Auto OS Off function. When the charging stand is plugged in, the controller powers off automatically when docked and powers on automatically when lifted. 8. Motion In the Motion tab, configurations are divided into Aim and Tilt modes. Aim mode delivers one-to-one -one motion to output translation. For example, rotating the controller left moves the crosshair left proportionally. Tilt mode converts orientation into sustained directional output. For example, Tilting left steers a wheel continuously left. In the submenu, X-axis output mode offers three types. Yaw, horizontal head shake rotation, roll, lateral head tilt lean, and hybrid, combined yaw plus roll. You can customize activation via activate method and activate button. When setting motion to left-right stick, you can adjust dead zone size. When setting motion to mouse output, you can configure DPI settings. When binding motion to any four buttons, you can set the overlap area range where smaller ranges reduce simultaneous adjacent button activation while larger ranges increase it. Additionally, you can adjust dead zone slash anti-dead zone ranges, modify motion curves, and configure X slash Y sensitivity scale with inversion options. Nine profiles. Once all settings are configured, you can check the top corner in the GameSir Nexus interface. You can save up to four different profiles and switch between them by pressing the M button plus A, B, X, Y buttons. 10. There are four icons. From right to left, they are Back, Buttons Test, Restore to Defaults, and Firmware Upgrade. You can click Restore to Defaults, third option, to reset settings to default. For firmware upgrade function, fourth option for upgrading the controller itself. Connect controller to Xbox or PC via USB-C cable and click firmware upgrade. For upgrading the dongle, plug the dongle directly into PC, connect the controller via the dongle, and click firmware upgrade. Note, the firmwares of controller and dongle are separated and named with different versions. 